All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic. You shall know a tree by its fruits. In other words, you shall know a man by his philosophy. Okay? Now, I'm going to start off with this scripture. Mark 8 and 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Okay? So this parable, okay, this one sentence, it shows you, according to the scriptures, that men are likened onto trees. Okay? Now, when you go into the scripture, uh, Mark, Matthew uh, 7 and 16, it says, you shall know them by their fruits. Okay? So you shall know a tree by its fruits, right? Okay, you shall know a man by his philosophy. It says, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree or every good man brings forth good fruit. Okay? But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Now, when you're going to this uh, scripture right here where it says, you know, like, for example, a, a corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. You know, you got a lot of niggas out here in the world who don't believe in the, or they say that they believe in the scriptures, you know. You got a lot of people out here who claim to believe in the scriptures, but when it comes down to uh, what they the, the the people that they bring out, you got to know that they're they're not uh, sincere when it comes down to the the Lord. Okay, uh, Yahweh uh, Bashem Yahweh Sha. Now, one way how you can know uh, for the most part if a person is on point when it comes down to the scriptures is if the Lord has given them their name. Okay, now you have some people out here who might not have the correct name of the Lord, but, you know, that's up to us as the good tree. You know, if we're, if we are the good tree, then we, we will bring forth that good fruit, you know, but a lot of people out here, they come into this, 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 uh, this truth, you know, and they, they say the name, uh, uh, Christ, okay, which the, 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 the foundation of Christ is not going to bring forth anything good, okay, um, the foundation of Ahaya is not going to bring forth anything good, you know, you have to, you have to be re-rooted in everything, man, into these scriptures, man, if you're going by that, uh, that term, okay, now, when, when the scripture says, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit, you know, you got a lot of guys out here, like, like, let's say in the hood, you got niggas, you know, and if two niggas or, or a nigga and a nigga woman are trying to raise a child, you got to know that that child most more than likely ain't going to grow up the way that it should be, you know, that child is going to take after the ways of their, their parents, you know, um, whether it be good or bad. Okay, it says every tree that bring for, bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So every tree that doesn't have the right philosophy, okay, is going to be destroyed at the end of the day. Okay. Uh, wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. Now, the here go the thing. You know, you got some men. Who claim, you know, to have the, 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 the truth. They claim to, to have the name of the Lord. Which, like I said, the name of the Lord, it starts there, you know. But, here go the scripture, uh, Ma Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay? Now, let me go into this word, will.
OK. E2307. Thelema. Thelema. OK, it says, what one wishes or has determined shall be done of the purpose of Yahweh to bless mankind through Yahweh Shah of what Yahweh wishes to be done by us. Commands, precepts, will, choice, inclination, desire, pleasure. Okay? So the ones that do what pleases the 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 most high Yahweh, okay, which is in heaven, okay, those are the ones that will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The the, the first fruits, okay, of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so when the scripture says that you shall know a tree by its fruits, it's talking about you shall know a man by its philosophy. Now, going to this word philosophy, okay, it says all learning exclusive of technical precepts and practical arts. Now, going through the scriptures, you know, that's why I did a video called, uh, you know, getting the big picture. You get the big picture of what, you know, the, the scriptures talks about, okay? You find out who the Israelites are, what, what it means to be an Israelite, you know, uh, what the Lord requires of you through the precepts, and you, you grow from off of that, okay? Uh, it says, the sciences and liberal arts of exclusive medicine, law, and theology, a doctor of philosophy, okay? <clears throat> a pursuit of wisdom and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to pursue wisdom you know if you're a good tree you're trying to pursue wisdom you know through the scriptures on how it takes what it takes to, to actually please Yahweh by Shemiah Asa okay so that's one of the reasons why this scripture is important um Matthew I believe is uh five and um uh 19 it says whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven now hold on i thought the scripture just said that you know not everyone shall enter into the kingdom of heaven now you have people out here that say that you know there is a heaven and a hell well, the scriptures don't, don't, uh, well, when you die, you go to heaven and hell. No, that's not what the scriptures say. You know, there's no place, uh, where you go to die and burn in hell forever. Okay. That's Greek mythology. Now, this is saying that the ones that, uh, teach men to do certain things. Okay. They shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Ultimately, all of Israel is going to be there in the kingdom of heaven. But you're going to have some people who uh, taught the wrong things that are going to be, you know, they're going to be destroyed, okay? As the scripture said, okay, cast into the fire, okay? And then in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be walking around with their heads down for a little while. Well, for a long while, you know, they're going to have that shame and everlasting contempt, as the scriptures say. It says, but whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven, okay? So, this is talking about the philosophies, okay? It's wise to serve the Lord, okay? Um, it says, uh, under the definition of philosophy, a search for general understanding of values and reality by chiefly speculative rather than observant, observant, observational, uh, Oh, observational, sorry, uh, means an analysis of the of the grounds of and concepts concepts expressing fundamental beliefs. Okay, now going deeper into this uh, term. Okay, one of the, the 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 things that we are doing is we're practicing, we're rehearsing the righteous acts according to the scriptures. Okay, which the word practice is the actual application or use of an idea, belief, or method 
as opposed to theories about such application or use. Okay? So knowing a man according to his philosophy is knowing whether this person is actually practicing, whether he's actually doing, whether he's actually applying what the scriptures say. Okay? So the scriptures say, once again, you know, the, the dietary laws, it says, you know, not to do certain things. And you got people that, you know, are teaching those things. Then those people will be, be considered the great in the kingdom of heaven. But if you having people that sit up there saying that it's not, it's okay for you to, um, you know, eat whatever you want. As long as it's in the name of the Lord, you got to know according to the scriptures, that person is going to be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. So if the Bible says for you to do something, you have to do those things. Now. This is the scripture, uh, Proverbs 11 and 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Okay, the philosophy of the righteous, the righteous men of the Lord, is a tree of life. And he that wins souls is wise. Okay, now we just said that the, the philosophy, okay, is the pursuit of wisdom. Okay, so the philosophy of the men of the Lord, okay, when you're coming to this truth, you're going to get planted on a sore foundation that you no know, everything in this society is temporary. And you're going to be destroyed, you know, if you don't do what the Lord say. First and foremost, it's all about the elect, okay? Which the elect are those men that are going to be pushing the, the truth out here, okay? Now, this is a scripture, Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is the man... That walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners. Okay, so when you go into this, uh, the, the men that uh, break the, the commandments, they're the sinners, and they're teaching men to do so. That's the counsel of the the uh, the ungodly. Okay, that's the that's that's standing in the way of sinners. Nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Okay, which that goes into the uh, the figs of thistles. Okay, the scoffers and the scorners. Okay, it says, uh, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and is a law. I mean, and in his and in his law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Okay, which these scriptures are likened unto water. Okay. It's always something to talk about when it comes down to the scriptures, okay? Now, when it comes down to the ways of this world, it ain't that much you can talk about, you know? You talk about one topic, you know, sports, and that's really all you're going to be able to talk about, you know? Whereas, though, you talk about the truth and you apply sports, you can that sports conversation can go into many different fields. You can talk about a movie and that movie could go into different, different uh, avenues and stuff, you know? That's all because of the scriptures, you know, the precept upon precept. And it says that brings forth his fruit and his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Because it's all through the foundation, the spirit, and power of your house by Shemiah was shot. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to get uh, this scripture, 1 Corinthians 3 and 10, according to the grace of Yahweh Basim Yahshai, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds thereon. But every man, let every man take heed how he builds thereupon. So here go the thing. Knowing a man by his philosophy, okay, the things that he practiced, okay, the things that he's applying to his life, okay, if a man says that you know he wants to to, to to be a man of the Lord or he, he he is a man of the Lord first off you'll you'll know him if he says Christ you know you gotta know that there's something that is going on that he may be off on okay he may be just going off on a name but he might have a lot of other things downright you know you 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 might never know until you actually try the spirit by the spirit but then you have some people out here that say you know, the name of Yahweh Shemiah Shah, but then they go off on literally everything else. 
because they're not sincere about this truth. You know, this is how you know a person. This is how you know whether somebody is, is sincere or not, you know, because, you know, in the world, they sit up there, you know, these women, they want to say, I want to get to know you or, or, or whatever. And then you, you sit up there, you get to know this person and um, you come to find out that this person ain't shit. They don't know the name of the Lord. You just find out that this person that you're dealing with is a demon. And more than likely, you're going to get caught up with that demon because you don't have any wisdom. You don't know philosophy yourself, you know, for for brothers, you know. You, you, you see a brother maybe calling on the name of the Lord, then he might go off, you know. You know that through the Spirit, you know, the Scriptures say that a just man falleth seven times, you know. But but stand if up uh, eight if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, you know. So you know that that's that's what the scriptures say, you know. Um, uh, Proverbs fourteen twenty four and sixteen for a just man falls seven times and rise up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief, you know. So if a man is saying you know y'all about to me outside, but then he falls into mischief. Okay, which I want to go into this word mischief. Okay. Which that goes into the word ra. Okay, which is evil. Okay. It says bad, evil, dis bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad, unpleasant. Okay. Doing the things that don't make the Lord happy. Okay. That's how you know a man whether he's really down with this truth or not. Okay. Now, uh, it says, let every man take heed how he builds thereupon, okay? Because you got niggas out here who don't, don't, don't think about how they're building. You got women out here that don't think about how they're building, you know? Um, for every foundation can no man lay, then that is laid, which is Yahweh Shah, okay? So, the, 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 the main philosophy, the best philosophy is Yahweh Shah, the, you know, the son of Yahweh. Okay, which he sold how you're supposed to be. Okay, he did the works of the Lord and he actually sold what the will of the Lord was. Okay, in order to 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 make the Lord happy. Now, once again, going going to the word uh, will. Okay, which it, it's the purpose of what what Yahweh wants. Okay, to bless mankind through Yahweh Shah. So you, in order to get to Yahweh, you got to go through Yahweh Shah. Okay. Now, continuing on. Now, if any man builds upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stable, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. Okay. So when times get hard out here, if a man don't have the right philosophy, which is the scriptures, like let's say the, the famine come, you know, which is going to come, okay, the famine, uh, and you, you, you can't uh, feed your children, you know, a person that doesn't have the right philosophy, they're going to probably have that, you know, by any means necessary, you know, they might have children, might eat their children, you know. But a man of the Lord, they're going to know that we're supposed to wait on the Lord. What do the scriptures say? That the, that the Lord's servants so eat. Okay? And you're going to be patient. You're going to do those things that are of the Spirit in order to, to, to achieve what the goal is that we're trying to fight for. Okay? It says, in the fire, so try every man's work of what sort it is. Okay? So when times get hard... We're going to actually see who's actually down for the Lord, who's actually practicing and doing what they're supposed to do. You know, now you got people out here that makes it seem like, OK, well, we're supposed to be throwing up videos. But then when or, or they'll go out and they'll speak and they'll say these things or whatever, but they're not actually doing what they're supposed to do. You know, oh, we're supposed to get up as brothers and we're supposed to do these things as brothers. But when it comes down time to, to, to get up as brothers, you don't do it, you know. The, 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 the thing is that we're not supposed to be hypocrites, man. You know? We're supposed to be on fire for for this, this truth, man. Okay? 
uh, fear, fearing Yah by Shemiah Osha. Okay, it says, uh, if any man's work abide which he have built thereupon, he shall receive a reward, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, this is Second Timothy night two and nineteen. I got, I got to slow down a little bit, you know. <laughs> it says, nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh by Shemiah Osha stands sore. Okay, so this is the only thing that's going to stand sore at the end of the day. That's going to get you, get you through these times that are to come. You know, if you know you're going through hard times, if you don't know your own philosophy, what you believe in, you know. You going you going to fail, man. You know, a lot of these people in the world don't know what they believe in, man, and that's one of the reasons why they end up being on uh on drugs, you know, end up being murderers, you know, because they're defiled. You know? It says uh having this seal, okay? So you have to be sealed, you know, from your heart by Shmiosa. It says the Lord knows them that are his. And let everyone that names the name of Yahweh Shah depart from iniquity. Okay? So the ones that name Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you're supposed to depart from iniquity. You have the name of the Lord, okay? You're supposed to be you supposed to be on on, on in this truth for, for the, the right reasons, man. But you got people that, you know, this that have to fulfill this uh scripture, you know, that everybody that says Lord, Lord is not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, so the thing is, the Lord knows who his men are and he gives the spirit of understanding through wisdom, you know, of what uh, the, the, the who is true men are, period. You know, the, the, the men, the real men in this world are not going to be hypocrites, man. OK, they're going to be about the Lord. How about some y'all side? When the Lord says to do certain things, that's what they're going to do, man. Okay? And ain't going to be no if, ands, or buts about it. Ain't going to be no scriptures. You know, I mean, uh, no, uh, no, no, uh, excuses. You know? The, the scriptures that, 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 that brothers bring out, you know, that's, that, that brothers say, you know, to, to try to put you in the right places to try to win your soul, man. You know? To try to get you into, you know, the, the the kingdom, man. You know, the scripture says that our people are wise to do evil, and you know, to have the knowledge of of good, they don't have no knowledge, man. You know, so if you if you looking for a person to just say all sweet things to you and just not saying what is actually uh, meaningful to you at the end of the day, you know, you gotta understand that that person. Might not be somebody that you want to keep in your corner, you know, because they're just saying, saying, you know, uh, keep on having faith, you know, uh, you'll prosper at the end of the day, you know, and that's not the right uh, philosophy to to have when you look into the scriptures and say, well, this is what the you know the the Lord is the one who's putting evil on people, you know. Why the hell do I want to prosper in this society? Only a, on the, the the ungodly prosper in this society, you know. The the, the scriptures back up everything that the the ways how you're supposed to be living in this 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 world. Okay, it backs up everything. There's there's a there's every corner is covered. Okay, every every way when you when you have the right philosophy, the right practice, which you're practicing on how to be more like a house you know, every everything that you do is to towards trying to do and, and fulfill the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that's the that's the main point. You know, we're trying to please the Lord and doing what he said and, 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 and bringing out what he wants us to, to, to bring out, man. To, you know, that's one of the reasons why brothers got to pray, you know, brothers got to fast, you know, brothers got to got to actually do this work, man, you know, study. You know, that's that's what the videos are here for, you know, but this is that's the point, man. You should know a true by its fruits, man, that the you you know, a man by his philosophies, what he's doing, how he's living, you know, what he what he's speaking about, man. You know, those these are these are the things that you should look for if you're looking for 
a man of the Lord. And if you see a man of the Lord that's actually doing these things, you should want to, to, to follow after his footsteps, man. You know? And get closer to that brother so that you can be more on point too, man. You know? That holy conversation is important, man. You know? But with that, you know, hopefully this was uh, edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.